Welcome! In this session we will learn to construct the fishing frontier in R. Well, the first thing that we are going to do is to install several packages that we need to build the fishing frontier and also to optimize the portfolio. So we are we're going to install firstly the first uh, firstly the package F portfolio. I'm going to write install dot packages, open parentheses, and then I write the name of the portfolio. I have already installed all the packages, so I'm not going to press enter. But you, if you haven't not if you have not installed the packages, you can just run them from the script. You have to install the package F portfolio time series, quant mode, deplier, performance analytics, and ggplot2. After you have installed the packages, you have to put them on the library. So you have to write library, open parentheses, and the name of the packages, and press enter. And you will have to do all of for, uh, you will have to do this for all the packages for the package time series, quant mode, deplier, performance analytics, and ggplot2. I'm going to re I'm uh, ggplot2. Sorry, I'm going to run them from the uh, script. So I ha I have already put all the packages on my library, and now I'm going to change the class of the return dot matrix variable from a data frame to a time series, and this is required by the package. Uh, if portfolio if you don't do this uh, you will obtain an error so you have to change the class uh, I'm going to write return dot matrix equals and I'm going to use the function as dot time series to change the class of the variable as time and uh, R studio is already suggesting me the function and then I write the, the same name of the variable, return matrix. And as you can see, return matrix was a data frame before, and now you can look for it, and now it is here, and has a formal class time series. So we change the class, the variable. And now let's create the efficient frontier. I'm going to clean the screen. I'm going to create the variable efficient frontier efficient dot frontier equals and now I'm going to use the function portfolio frontier from the package f portfolio portfolio and you can see here that our studies are already suggesting us the variable and now we are going to write the arguments I press shift enter to go to the second line the first variable is the name of the matrix that contains the returns so return matrix that has a class of time series the second argument in the second argument we are going to set the risk free rate so we have to write set risk and our studios are already suggesting us the variable we double click and inside set risk free rate we have to write portfolio spec then a comma and then we have to give the value of the risk-free rate if we remember it was 2.21 percent but that was an annual risk-free rate and we are working with monthly data so we have to divide it by 12. it was 221 percent if i remember divided by 12. in fact in the script is incorrect i'm going to raise this zero here then comma chief enter and the fourth argument is a constraint i don't want short cells so i'm going to say i'm going to say to the to r that i want just long bias long only and now i press enter and you can see here in the global environment that we have a formal class F portfolio new variable, which is named Efficient Frontier. We can click here and you can see here all the data inside this variable that is needed to construct the Efficient Frontier. Well, and once that you have uh, computed the Efficient Frontier variable, you can graph it. 
and for that you we are going to use the function plot probably there are better functions to to provide a plot but we are going we are going to use this one which is very simple and for that we just need two arguments the first one is the variable that we just created the efficient frontier and the second one is the type of graph that we want and we can see we can look at it at them here at the script for example the number one option is the efficient frontier the number two is the global minimum variance portfolio the number three is the tangent or optimal portfolio the number four is the risk return for each asset the number five is the equal weights portfolio the number six is the two asset frontier the number seven is the monte carlo portfolio that we will graph and you will see this is extremely interesting and the number eight is the sharp ratio let's uh, graph uh, uh, let's use some of these options and let's uh, graph or first uh, efficient frontier. So I'm going to write plot efficient dot frontier comma and the second arguments are the type of graph that we want. Uh, we want the graph one which is uh, the efficient frontier, two which is the global minimum variance portfolio, three the optimal portfolio and four the risk return for each asset. I press enter and you can see here the graph the fishing frontier the fishing frontier here we also have the capital market line we have here the tangent portfolio the optimal portfolio the minimum variance portfolio and each one of these points are the are the assets or is the risk return ratio of each one of the assets now let's graph a Monte Carlo simulation. We will plot uh, the efficient frontier. And uh, the second argument will be the type of graph, the number one, which is the efficient frontier, the number three, which is the tangent or optimal portfolio, and the number seven, which is the Monte Carlo portfolio. And as you can see here, we have several thousands portfolio here, which have been computed using a Monte Carlo simulation, assigning random numbers to the weights and creating several hundreds of uh, portfolios. So this is really interesting to observe all the possible portfolio that we could create. But from all these portfolios, you can see that there is, a, there is this uh, efficient frontier which represents the highest return for each level of risk. And from all these possibilities, we selected just one portfolio, the optimal portfolio, which is the one the, that optimizes the sharp ratio. And that is the ratio between the return by divided by the risk. With this, we finish this session. And in the next one, we will compute the weights of the optimal portfolio. Thanks for watching.